here along 23rd Avenue, part of a very large crime scene going up and down this stretch here, focused on finding clues. And this hour, new details to share from their investigation and about that suspect. First, a look at the gun. Police say 19-year-old suspect Bernardo Raul Castro Mata used to open fire on two NYPD officers overnight. Authorities saying he carried that firearm illegally and that it's now in evidence. And even more evidence found at the crime scene. Here's a look at the moped. Authorities say those two officers first noticed that suspect riding overnight and also spotted several evidence markers near where those shots were fired this morning. The NYPD IPD commissioner sharing even more about those tense moments. They observe a male suspect drive a moped the wrong way on 82nd Street near 23rd Avenue and attempted to pull him over. The suspect then fled on foot and the officers began a foot pursuit which led for several blocks. During the pursuit, the suspect fired multiple rounds at our officers who then returned fire. The bullet hole. Because of this vest, a young police officer is going home. Senseless act of violence, a total disregard for life. The mayor and police executives expressing relief. Those two officers are on track to recover from their injuries. Both officers and that suspect undergoing treatment now at local hospitals. And also, as we look here now at the scene, you can see those officers behind that crime tape really uh, honed in on that area back there. They've been there throughout the morning, uh, looking very closely at the ground to uh, perhaps trying to not miss any more evidence they could find here uh, at the scene. Police also saying that suspect Bernardo Raul Castro Mata currently resides at a migrant shelter not too far away from here. Police also saying so far it does not appear that he has uh, any arrest record in the city. However, they say he is a, someone they're looking into for several robberies around Queens. We're live here in Queens. I'm Justin Finch. Back to you. Interesting development. Justin, thank you. And we continue our team coverage this morning on the two officer shot. That's right. Our Julie Millay now has the very latest from Elmhurst Hospital where those officers are set to be released any moment now. Hi, Julie. Hi there, Dan. We are expecting them to be released from this hospital any minute now. As you said, we are standing by now. NYPD telling us those officers have been with their families this morning recovering and that they are in good spirits, but they stressed this story could have had a very different ending. That one officer who was shot near his stomach was saved by his bulletproof vest. The other officer was shot in the leg. They are both expected to make a full recovery. They met here with the mayor this morning who came uh, as soon as he woke up this morning and heard this news. Now, officers have been stationed here at the hospital all night. They've been staged outside the trauma center here since we pulled up around 345 this morning. We've seen them there in their cars along the road here, staged outside uh, this hospital. Now, the NYPD says the two officers who were shot are both young. One had five years on the job and the other had a little more than two years on the job. Their colleagues say their bravery was on full display today and that they both have bright futures ahead of them. The one police officer shot in the vest was more concerned about his partner saving his life, getting a tourniquet. That's what partners do in the NYPD. They save each other's lives. And that's what happened here today. Now, the suspect in this shooting is also expected to survive his injuries. That 19-year-old is currently being treated at New York Presbyterian Queens Hospital. And police said that suspect is now being looked at at several other robberies in Queens. That investigation is in its very early stages and ongoing. Again, we are standing by for the release of these two, ho of these two officers who were shot overnight, both expected to make a full recovery from those injuries. In Elmer's Queens, I'm Julie Malay.